Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Orlando, Florida today at the 2019 PGA Merchandise Show. We're with Cobra. I've got Jose Miraflor with me. Jose, how's it going? Great. How are you, buddy? Good to see you again. Great to be with you. Exciting show. You guys got a new location, great booth. A lot Place of great buzz. Noisy yeah. in here, too. <laughs> yeah. We want to talk right now about one length irons. Started with F7 when they were first unveiled. Right. Three generations later, Bryson coming off a year in which he won four times in a calendar year. Tell us, a little, we wanted to walk through a little bit with the revolution of introducing them to the marketplace and how it's changed since then and the growth you've seen in the category. Wow, that's a lot, right? I mean, at, at over three years, we've learned a lot from both our own research and from doing a lot of research with Bryson. You took that, sev, our, that F7 iron and it was kind of like a quick offense to make sure that we were able to show people what a one length iron could be like. We've stayed in communication with the people using it. We work with Bryson and our engineers are busy innovating and we've come up with this new F9 version of it, which has some great subtle tweaks. Most people who use a one length are very happy about how consistent they become and how simple it is to put it in seven iron position and just put a seven iron swing on every iron. What they've asked us to do is help it help the long irons fly a little bit higher, a little bit further, because when you cut them down a little bit shorter, you could lose a little bit of distance. So what we've done here is we've created this speed back shaping on the one length irons, and we have more perimeter weighting around the back and in the toe and even in the heel area, which brings the CG really low when you put it in dress position, right? And low CG, everyone, gets the ball up in the air and gives you a lot of ball speed. So that's really gonna help the long irons. We've also taken the shaft here and we've made it to a softer shaft. This is an 80 gram shaft that we're using in long irons only to help build the speed on those longer clubs to help them get in the air. And if that's not enough, inside the irons, there are 30, up to 33 grams of tungsten positioned low in the toe and down at the very bottom of the hosel that gives you a lot of resistance to twisting. So we've really worked on the, both the distance and forgiveness of the one length irons. And I was in California in December, had a chance to do some testing with these. And what stood out to me most was in the four and five iron in the one length, how much higher they launched. So what you've done there has really made a big Mission difference. Mission accomplished, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, the other thing that people ask is when you're using a, a seven iron length pitching wedge, does it spin too much? Does it fly too high? Bryson's been experimenting with his shafts and he knows that he'd like to play a heavier, firmer shaft to control those ball flights and hit the little knockdowns as we all like to hit into greens. So in our one length irons this year versus an 80 gram long iron shaft and a 90 gram scoring iron shaft, the wedges are 110 grams and they're made to flatten out that trajectory and help those wedges be a little bit lower flying. So with Bryson specifically, when he came out on tour and signed with you guys, people knew who he was, had an unbelievable amateur career great talent, also a unique player in the way he approaches right. the game. As his success on tour has grown with right. the victories, how have you seen that impact what you guys are doing with one leg? Well, it's, it's really great. You know, the more he shows up on the weekends, the more the phones ring, the more the interest grows. We have golf pros asking us to make us one length versions for them. Um, our own other staffers are saying, wow, this is really great. So the, the more he gets out there and in front of people and continues to play well, interest grows. It's about 40% of our sales today, which is great. And we estimate that that is the right percentage of golfers. And, and you guys might wonder who the golfer is that's a one length possibility. Well, if any of you out there think that your seven iron is your favorite iron to hit, well, you probably stumbled on the perfect spine angle, perfect length for you to be very consistent. And that's the one length message is, if that's your favorite iron, why not have every iron the same swing and you let the loft dictate the distance? It's pretty yeah. easy, right? In some respects, you can get why people maybe are skeptical, but typically anybody who's skeptical, who tries it, comes away with a new appreciation for what's available to them in terms of consistency. Absolutely, I think it's, it's an unknown thing. Golfers are slow to change, we, we know that. I mean, it took forever for everybody to move into metal woods back in the day, and then graphite shafts weren't quick to go. One length is one of those that's actually picked up pretty fast, but we know that there's still a lot of people out there that are wondering about it. I think the easiest way for everybody to do it is to just go to a local retailer that has one length and try it head to head versus variable. If you happen to hit a five iron one length, 
more consistently in the center and your distance is still there, you just found an easier way to play long irons. And I tell you what, there's a lot of people who would never believe that they'd hit a longer length pitching wedge better, but because it's easier on people's backs or their spine angles at better angle, they hit those more consistently as well. It, it's, it's a winner for a lot of people and a lot of people still don't know about it. I think one of the things we should mention while we have the chance is, Bryson uses not only one length, but he also does single plane. This isn't about single plane where he stands tall and makes one swing plane. This is just about swinging everything is seven iron swing. You don't need to change your swing, you just need to swing seven iron every time. Yeah, so if you're a second swing customer and struggling with your iron game, you've probably heard about one length, maybe you've been a little bit shy to give it a try, get into one of our stores, give it a chance, see how it compares to your current set or even a standard progressive set of the Cobra irons. You may find that's the perfect solution for you. Jose, we appreciate it, thanks. Thank you.